The photos you will see here were originally in black and white. I used an open source program called Deodify to colorize the photos and use Color Director for the final touches. All the photos here were taken in Hawaii Volcanoes National Park by the National Park Service and are in the public domain. On the 27th of June, 1952, at 2341, an eruption started inside Kilauea's Haleamamau Crater. The eruption ended in 136 days on the 10th of November, 1952. 0.05 cubic kilometers of lava has erupted and remained in Haleamamau. The upcoming slideshow of the 1952 Kilauea eruption will show the original black and white photograph with the edited color photograph immediately after. Then I will demonstrate how easy it is to color a photograph with the Deodify program as well as Color Director. So let's begin the slideshow. Okay, here is the Deodify webpage. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select a black and white photo to upload. So we'll just select this one right here with the people in the background at the edge of Kilauea Caldera. All right, that's the one we're gonna use right here. So we're gonna shrink it down a little bit and we're gonna place it on the right hand side over here. So you can just see it's black and white. So we're just going to set it right over here on the right hand side, as you can see it's black and white, and we're going to upload this particular photo. So we're going to find it here in the folder, okay there it is right there, and upload it, and there you have it, it's colorized. The colors are pretty close, and we can actually do some touch-ups in either Photoshop or Color Director. The output is about 800 by 600 pixels, which is pretty small, but still enough to uh, make a decent picture if you want to print it out. Let's go ahead and do another one. There you go. Another black and white photo is now a colored photo. And it's pretty accurate. It's very, very close. It's not perfect, but it's very close. Let's go ahead and uh, save this. The program actually colorizes the most common things you see every day. Trees, plants, mountains, the sky, the sun, buildings, people, animals, etc., etc. However, lava, on the other hand, is a different story. Now, for lava, I'm going to upload a black and white photo of the lava lake of Haleimamau from 1952. And as you can see, Deolify could not change the lava to its natural color, which is orange. So what we're going to do is we're going to save this, and we're going to export it into a program called Color Director, which is actually a program part of Power Director. And this is an easy fix. And I'm going to show you how it's done.
Okay, let's import the previous photo into Color Director. Okay, the one we just did about a few seconds ago. There you go, that's the one we're looking for. And we're gonna go ahead and put the orange color, the natural orange color into the lava. Okay, there's the photo right there that was edited by Deoldify. So what we're gonna do is we're going to adjust the temperature. There you go, see it's getting a little bit warmer now. The orange color is coming out, a little bit darker. Now we go ahead and adjust the tint and the saturation to bring out that rich color of the orange lava. Now we gotta get rid of this little part right here where it's a little bit lighter. So we're gonna adjust the exposure and the contrast. There we go, it's looking nice now. There we go, the brightest area is gonna be a little bit brighter. So we'll scroll down a little bit, and darkest area, a little bit darker. Okay, there we go. All set. Now the saturation, bring out that rich color of the orange lava. There we go. That looks like lava now. And that is how you change some old black and white photographs into color photographs. Now we're gonna export this photo and save it on file. Now this is the edited photo from both Deoldify and Color Director showing the actual color of lava. This photo right here was originally in black and white. You can do anything with Deoldify and Color Director from Power Director. I enjoy restoring old volcano photographs and old volcano videos from 70, 80 to 90 years ago. If you want to colorize old black and white photos, I will post a link to the Deoldify program in the description. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe.